How's it going guys? Welcome back, Chris here. And in today's video, we're going to take a good look at a VPN service called ProtonVPN. Now, as a long-time customer of Proton Mail, I was curious to see whether its world-renowned privacy and security standards could carry over into its sister product, Proton VPN. The CERN scientists behind its world-class encrypted email technology have a lot of competition amongst premium VPNs, and I wondered if these privacy pros could offer any new innovative features that aren't already available with other top VPNs. So, to find out, I did an in-depth analysis on Proton VPN, exploring its privacy options, ownership and security practices. Also, I performed extensive tests on its speed, unblocking abilities, leak protection, torrenting support and other additional features. Now, I will go through all that, but for now, let me say this. Proton VPN is a good choice if you need a secure VPN compatible with most devices. As it's based in Switzerland, and because it uses the same powerful encryption technology behind Proton Mail, it is a very safe option. However, it will still have to make some improvements to compete with the top VPNs like ExpressVPN. In case you want to know more on that, I will put a link to my full review of ExpressVPN in the video description. First, let's take a look at streaming. So, I would say ProtonVPN did okay in my testing. At least I was impressed at the number of platforms ProtonVPN can unblock. But long lead times hurt the streaming experience. Also, Proton has several varieties of servers, but you need at least a plus plan to access the best servers for unblocking streaming services. Their visionary plans will work for this too, but unfortunately, Proton's free and basic servers aren't great for avoiding geoblocks. In my testing, I was able to unblock Netflix and Crunchyroll with these, but nothing else. The streaming quality was surprisingly good, and videos loaded in HD in 3 seconds or less, and played back without buffering. However, I ran into a strange issue. The free locations are limited to Japan, the Netherlands, and the US. Then, on Japan's free number one server, I logged into Netflix, but I wasn't able to access Japanese content, like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Then, while reading Proton VPN's website, I found out that Netflix can detect your VPN usage with free servers. Now, when Netflix knows you're using a VPN, it will only let you access content that's available worldwide. So if you're looking to explore different libraries or access region-specific platforms, the free and basic servers can't help you. Fortunately, their Plus servers unlocked a huge number of platforms and Netflix regions. Disney+, Plus, ESPN+, Plus, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, BBC iPlayer, and every other top platform was easy to unblock with Proton Plus servers. I also connected to Netflix with servers in seven different countries. Libraries in Australia, the US, Japan, France, the UK, Portugal and India were all unlocked with zero issues. In Proton Systems, Plus servers are marked with a capital P in the app. OK, so the quality of streaming varied depending on the servers. With local servers, videos loaded quickly and played back smoothly in HD. When they were further from my location, I encountered long load times, low resolution picture quality and buffering. Proton VPN wasn't accessing any platforms I attempted to access that their system couldn't unblock. The way it bypasses geoblocks is actually quite impressive. It's just too bad that the streaming experience has a few issues. As for speed, Proton VPN is good and offers decent speeds, but I noticed that it is slower on distant servers. OK, I performed my tests on a Microsoft Surface laptop running Windows 10. All of the speeds were recorded with Proton VPN set to the OpenVPN UDP protocol. So I used the Quick Connect feature first, and it chooses a server for you based on your location. This feature also factors in a percentage that tells you how crowded a server is. For example, Quick Connect placed me on a Los Angeles server 352 kilometers away, with a 64.33 megabits per second download speed and a 68% load. Now, my base speed was 66.97 megabits per second, so I was impressed at how small the drop was. It was only 3% slower than my original connection. And with such a small reduction in speed, I could still stream movies without a problem. You only need 5 megabits per second to stream in HD, and 64.33 megabits per second is more than 12 times faster. 
Also, Proton VPN offers different server types, so I decided to record the average speeds of each to see how they compare. I found that, on average, the P2P servers were faster than the plus options by around 17 megabits per second. In addition, basic servers were 15 megabits per second faster than plus ones. Now, that surprised me, because Proton's website lists plus servers as reaching up to 10 gigabits per second. As expected, the free servers were 22 megabits per second slower than basic ones on average. This isn't surprising, since they were only 52% full. Secure core connections route your traffic through two locations for extra encryption, which drops the speed considerably. These servers had an average speed of 25.99 megabits per second. Overall, the speeds are pretty good, but you'll want to use nearby P2P servers for the quickest connections. Speaking of P2P servers, I decided to test torrenting next, and unfortunately, I found that it has weak download speeds with P2P servers. So it's safe to say that Proton VPN isn't a great option for torrenting, since it drops your download speeds significantly. It also doesn't support port forwarding. And that's a shame, since this feature can help you bypass some of the restrictions your router might have, and can allow you to torrent and seed faster. Now, I did some research and found that Proton VPN doesn't offer this feature because it considers it's unsafe. OK, that's fair, because it can give hackers new ways to uncover your information. However, not having the option to use port forwarding makes Proton VPN a bad choice for torrenters. Now, you can find P2P servers in the app by looking for the symbol of two arrows beside the location. The countries also feature the icon beside them, so it's easy to see which ones contain P2P P2P connections. All right, when connecting to P2P server California number no. one in San Jose, I began downloading Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, an old movie no longer copyrighted. My download speed in New Torrent was 287.7 kilobits per second, which would let me download the 699 megabyte movie in about an hour. Then the Arizona No. 5 basic server let me download a little faster, at 356.3 megabits per second. Still, that's really slow, considering that without a VPN connected, I could download the same file at 1.3 megabits a second. And with Proton VPN, there are only torrenting servers in 12 countries. This includes the United States, United Kingdom, Switzerland, Sweden, Singapore, etc. So, if you don't live near any of these locations, your download speeds will be even slower on P2P servers. Testing out Hungary's P2P server, which was 9,788 kilometers away, my download speed was never higher than 504 kilobits a second. As a result, it's possible to torrent with Proton VPN, but there are better options out there if you plan to do it often. OK, since we're talking about speeds, you might be wondering, are Proton VPN speeds fast enough for gaming? Well, yes, Proton VPN is a good VPN for gaming, but only if you use a server close to you. You'll want to use a nearby location, because they offer lower ping rates, which are important for gaming. However, even when I had a low ping on distant servers, they still didn't perform well with games. Now, ping refers to how long it takes for your data to travel. You'll want it to be below 100 milliseconds, so your inputs are received quickly. When the ping is high, it takes your character longer to react to the keys you press. This makes games unplayable, because no matter how skilled you are, you still lose due to technical issues. All right, now as far as server options, OK, Proton VPN doesn't have the most servers compared to other VPNs, but the specialized options make it quite flexible. They offer over 1,300 servers in 50 countries that cover Western Europe, North America, South America, Asia, and South Africa. It also gives you city-level locations, which are generally faster than country-level servers. One good thing about Proton VPN servers is that they don't use third-party DNS servers. This is good, because it eliminates another way hackers or companies might intercept your information. Basically, when you try to access a website, your request can be read, and you can be sent to a malicious website. Another helpful feature is that Proton VPN also exclusively uses bare metal servers. These are physical servers rather than virtual locations, which adds an extra layer of security, since the servers are less vulnerable to online attacks by hackers. 
And the company does work with third parties to rent some servers, but it thoroughly vets its partners. ProtonVPN works with its partners to make sure that it can't be compelled to follow laws in countries outside of Switzerland where it's based. So, the fact that it rents servers actually protects you when the servers are in high-risk locations. Plus, it owns many of the secure core servers. So, even though ProtonVPN doesn't have the largest server network, its servers are secure, updated frequently, and serve many useful functions. Now, as for security, well, Proton VPN excels at it. Proton has military grade encryption, which reliably hides your IP and protects your sensitive information. Yes, this is not surprising considering that the VPN was developed by CERN scientists with the same technology they used to create Proton Mail, the most secure email service available. And having had such impressive technologists behind the development of the app adds to another layer of credibility to its security functions. To beef it out even more, it has open source apps, third party audits, and a no logs policy. Also, it publishes transparency reports to let customers know about any requests they've received for information about its customers. These also reveal data on the VPN and its usage. And on top of that, it has several additional security features, like secure core servers, split tunneling, and a kill switch. And then, DNS leak protection makes sure that only Proton VPN can see what websites you visit. It also uses OpenVPN, the safest VPN protocol. You can also use direct cash payments to purchase the VPN completely anonymously. And of course, the company is located in Switzerland, a country with some of the best data privacy laws. So, added together, they all show that Proton VPN is a great option for keeping your data encrypted and secure. All right, in terms of encryption, Proton VPN uses AES 256 bit encryption, which keeps your data incredibly safe. In simple terms, AES 256 bit encryption means the key to your data is hidden in a combination of numbers 78 digits long. Yes, finding the proper key to reveal your information is nearly impossible with so many possibilities. So, you know your connection is anonymous when you connect to Proton VPN. Then it goes even further and uses a 4096 bit key exchange to protect your data as it's sent through the VPN tunnel. A key exchange describes the moment your information is handed over to the VPN server. Similar to the AES 256 bit encryption, the 4096 bit key exchange creates a huge number of possibilities that hide your data. Additionally, an SHA-384 hash authenticates information sent through the VPN tunnel. This is one more feature that ensures your data is safe. Next, for an extra layer of security, Proton VPN utilizes perfect forward secrecy. This feature continuously changes the key used to decrypt or encrypt information. That means even if the key was ever discovered, you'd still be safe because it's constantly updated. And to verify this, I conducted a DNS leak test. So, let's look at the results. Well, Proton VPN passed the DNS leak test, showing me that my location was kept anonymous. OK, to perform the test, I connected to the Arizona number 6 server and accessed ipleak.net. Now, this website shows you the information other pages see when you click on their sites. I performed tests on a Windows laptop along with Android and iOS phones. DNS leaks are a big problem because they allow websites, governments, companies and hackers to see your information. And if your VPN is leaking, then it's not doing its job and your data can be accessed. But my tests show that Proton VPN will keep you safe. Another thing that I did like is that Proton VPN does not keep any logs. That means that they don't store any of your important information, and the data it does store is controlled by you. In fact, it only keeps the data you give them. This includes the email and username you provide them, information on the payment method you used, and queries you sent to support. So, if you don't want them to collect your email address, you can create one specifically to sign up. Yes, paying with a credit card will allow them to store the name associated with it and the last four digits, but this can be avoided by paying with cryptocurrency. Then, third parties process payment info, so ProtonVPN never sees your billing information. 
When reading through privacy policies, you may find that companies are misleading with their wording. Fortunately, ProtonVPN's policy was extremely straightforward and transparent about company practices. And the company never voluntarily shares your email or payment info with outside parties. Actually, it only needs them to contact you with invoices or to ask you to update payment methods when they don't work. But you can be contacted by the VPN through email if you opt in to receive notifications. All of your data is deleted if your account is terminated, by the way. Then, of course, it does not store your internet traffic or any communications. Information about traffic or its website is logged, so it can perform analytics. No personal data, like IP addresses, are ever logged. However, it will share the data it has, including email addresses, usernames, payment info, and support questions if compelled to by law. Now, these requests have to be approved by Swiss authorities, who have some of the strongest privacy laws in the world. For example, its policy was put to the test in January of 2019. A foreign country was approved by a Swiss court to request IP information on a Proton VPN customer. But since it does not store any IP data, it did not have anything to share. Still, the company does reserve the right to alter its privacy policy. So, to stay updated on any changes, it's best to remain signed up for notifications, which will inform you immediately of any new policies. Proton VPN gives you the option to provide them with as little information as you want. This makes it an extremely safe VPN you can trust to protect your data. Again, it also helps that Proton VPN is based in Switzerland, the same country where CERN is located. Now, Switzerland is not a part of the 14 Eyes Alliance, a pact between governments to share information on their citizens. This means it won't be forced to change its privacy policy and store more data when foreign governments demand it. In fact, Swiss laws are some of the best when it comes to protecting its citizens' online information. Every VPN has to be based somewhere, and it's forced to comply with that country's laws. This is why it's great to be headquartered in Switzerland, a country outside the European Union. The EU has a history of storing citizens' metadata due to its data retention directive. On the other hand, in 2017, a new Swiss surveillance law was passed to help curb domestic threats. The Swiss government conducted meetings with the Proton VPN team. Proton VPN is confident it can only be compelled to share the data it has, and the surveillance law won't force the company to hack its customers' data. Switzerland also has a history of neutrality, meaning that it doesn't cooperate with foreign governments, so there's no better place for Proton VPN to be. All right, on to my next bit of testing. What about a kill switch? Yes, Proton VPN offers a kill switch that protects you by disabling your internet if the VPN loses connection. This is an important feature that makes sure no one can see your information if a server malfunctions. It also protects you while you're switching servers. I tested this feature by trying to access a website while the VPN was switching between servers. The kill switch blocked the traffic, so I couldn't access the site and no one could see my unprotected IP. Now, you might be wondering if Proton VPN works in China. Unfortunately, the answer is no. Actually, Proton VPN was banned by the Chinese government on September 18th, 2019. Some VPNs have connections in China by using virtualization software, but Proton VPN only uses bare metal servers, so this isn't possible. The Great Firewall of China uses several advanced tools to detect VPNs. For now, Proton VPN can't guarantee its servers will work there. Okay, in terms of device compatibility, Proton VPN works with a nice variety of devices, but some do have fewer features. For example, the Windows and Android VPN app has all the features that Proton VPN has to offer. However, the Mac and iOS version lacked the split tunneling and kill switch feature. Also, in Windows, their VPN app has all of the features Proton has to offer, like its kill switch and split tunneling that comes with alternative routing. It only uses the OpenVPN protocol and lets you switch between UDP and TDP on unstable connections. As for the Android app, it shares Windows features, but the kill switch can only be used with the VPN set to Always On. But it can use IKE version 2 or OpenVPN. 
In any case, Proton VPN supports simultaneous connections with several devices, but only for their paid plans. In turn, the free plans allow only one device connection. Then you get two devices with a basic plan, which costs just $5 a month. A Plus subscription that costs about $10 a month gets you up to 10 devices, which is a lot. As for the user experience, I found that Proton VPN has a user-friendly interface with just a few minor issues. It's largely easy to navigate and designed in an intuitive way. Ok, the first time you start up the app it begins with a short tutorial, which is more in-depth on the desktop. Now, one annoying thing is that the kill switch is not automatically enabled, so I recommend turning it on before you connect. Besides the kill switch, the rest of the features are easy to find and adjust in the Settings tab. Then there's also a clear map on the right that marks countries that have Proton VPN servers with a triangle. Look for a solid green triangle to signify your current server country, making it easy to see your status and where you're connected. Unfortunately, I found Proton VPN's lack of 24-7 customer support an oversight that leaves them lagging behind other top VPNs. You can only send in email requests to the support team, which they promise will be answered within one to two business days. Luckily, I never had to wait two whole days. The longest I had to wait was 25 hours to receive an answer. I asked support how accurate the list of compatible streaming platforms on the website was, and I was mostly satisfied with the answer, which was that the list is updated frequently, so I was directed to a frequently asked question on the website with more information. However, I would have liked a little more information, like how often the streaming list is updated. If it was a chat, I could quickly ask that question instead of having to wait another day for a response. As a result, the fastest response I received was in only 4 hours. The bottom line is that Proton VPN is an excellent option when it comes to security and unblocking streaming platforms. The company's impressive history, along with its ongoing support of internet freedom, makes me feel safe letting them handle my data. Fortunately, its secure core servers are great for protecting your traffic, but like its Tor and P2P servers, they're quite slow, and even though it's great at bypassing geoblocks, those slow speeds hurt its streaming capabilities as well. Where it struggles most is customer service. Nearly every other top VPN has a 24-7 live chat, and it's frustrating having to wait an entire day for troubleshooting tips. In the end, I recommend Proton VPN to anyone who's mainly concerned with security and supporting a great company dedicated to protecting online privacy. But if you want the best possible experience using a VPN, then my top recommendation still stands, which is ExpressVPN. Ok, so before I end this video, I'd like to take the opportunity to answer some of the most frequently asked questions that I get asked about this topic. Alright, for the first question, can you use Proton VPN for free? Yes, there is a free version of Proton VPN, but I recommend using a paid tier to get the most out of it. The free version can only access three countries with free servers, and they are always super crowded. In my tests, these servers were 46% slower than paid versions, and sometimes dropped as low as 7 megabits per second. In addition, I was only able to unblock a worldwide version of Netflix and Crunchyroll with free servers. Now for the second question, does Proton VPN work with Netflix? Yes, it works great at unblocking Netflix libraries worldwide. Proton VPN has plus servers that are specifically designed to unblock streaming platforms, but this means you'll need at least a plus account, which costs about $10 a month to access foreign libraries. The plus servers aren't available on basic plans, and basic servers can only access a version of Netflix with the movies and shows available everywhere. For the third and final question, is Proton VPN safe to use? Actually, Proton VPN is incredibly safe because of its no logs policy, reputable parent company, and encryption technology. It also publishes transparency reports, receives independent audits, and is located in Switzerland. The Swiss has some of the strongest privacy laws and don't cooperate with foreign governments looking for information on their citizens. On top of that, the VPN uses the same encryption technology as Proton Mail, the world's leading encrypted email service. All of this combines to make it one of the safest VPNs out there. 
Okay, thank you so much for watching my video. I've put a discount link to Proton VPN below in the description, and in case you are interested in trying out ExpressVPN, I will put info for you on them as well, which I highly recommend. Then, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, and don't forget to like my video if you found this review helpful. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to stay up to date on VPNs. Thanks, and I'll catch you soon with another video. Bye.